All right, we're still a little hungry, so it's time for some leftovers. Let's choose the news with some scraps. Uh, quite literally hungry. <clears throat> Our friends from <clears throat> Lily's Guacalicious love chips and salsa here. Ooh, so I figured I might as well partake. While May we're as well. Too. Yeah. yeah. Did you get the spicy one just now? Yeah. It's good. It's, good. Yeah. it's very good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember when I gave you um, knuckle deep was a choice? <laughs> yes. It was a choice. Knuckle deep. Mm -hmm. A seven-year-old boy from China who complained of a weird smell for years has finally gotten some relief, guys. Doctors did a CT scan and found something up his nose, but they couldn't oh. tell what it was. Oh, no. Then they tried to remove it. <clears throat> they had to try three different tools before they could get it out. Eventually, they got it out, but they still couldn't tell what it was because it was covered in so much dried mucus and pus. Oh, no. Oh. <clears throat> kind of chip in the back of my throat. Once they cleaned it off, they realized it was a screw. Oh my God! It was a screw in the kids. What? Did they show the <clears throat> the thing that came out yet? No. No. Let's see the X-ray. There oh. it is. Oh my gosh! That was in his what? nose. What? Uh, the little boy had it in there for two years. Oh my gosh. Just bananas. Doctors said this kid is fully recovered and is no longer dealing with a weird metallic smell. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> makes oh. sense. Yeah. Get yeah, the screw out. Makes sense. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> guys, having that tortilla the... chipper before I did this was bad. <laughs> okay, did we Do find out water? how? There's one little piece in the back. Spot welded to the back of my throat. <laughs> uh, it's unclear why the screw wasn't found <laughs> sooner, <laughs> but doctors say if your kid is doing a lot of abnormal nose picking, mm. which, I mean, feels like there's only one way to do it. Uh, and if the, also, if they have a thick, peculiar smelling discharge, oh. get them checked out. I feel like that's basic parenting advice, though. Yeah. But the question is, how did he, I, he <clears> just <throat> shoved it up there? Is that what we don't know? Yeah, no, it was kids. there for two years, so he was five. Yeah, kids do. I feel like my five-year-old doesn't stick stuff up her nose, but. Yeah, maybe she does. I guess I don't see her at school all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember what I gave you? Oh, suspicious circumstances, but it has nothing to do with the. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just the one from the last time we did this, and I forgot to change it. Even the title was left over. Yeah, so yeah. forget that. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, a new documentary is making some bizarre claims about the late Prince Philip of England. Oh. It claims the prince, who died in 2021, was really into the paranormal and UFOs so much so that he made plans to meet with an alien. Okay. According to the documentary, a staffer organized a meeting with a supposed alien named Janus or Janus, I don't know, J-A-N-U-S, at a flat in Chelsea. Uh, Janus or Janus wanted to discuss saving the planet. Now, the doc says that they don't believe that Janus was an alien. They report the prevailing belief is that Janus was a Russian spy. Ooh. The meeting never actually happened, though. Mm. Uh, he never actually showed up for it. Documentary also claims Queen Elizabeth wanted to study secret documents from the Vatican to find out more about aliens. Apparently, they were very into UFOs and such. Really? Huh. Well, who would have thought? Yeah. According to the document. Huh. By the way, it is uh, streaming free on Tubi. Mm. The document's called uh, The King of UFOs. It's on Tubi? Yeah. See, that's where I get concerned. Hmm. Okay. okay. All right, the dessert course. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's chilled. I brought it in my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, here it is. It looks appetizing. Uh huh. Remember when I gave you this one trick? Yes. This one trick. You know, have you ever seen the ads like, you know, doctors hate this one trick? Right. Yes. I think police are going to hate this one trick. A South Korean man was cleared of drunk driving charges despite witnesses reporting the man driving erratically and stumbling as soon as he got out of the car. Police said the man's blood alcohol content was 0.128, which is more than four times the legal limit in South Korea. Mm. Seems like an open and shut case. Mm -hmm. But police say the man downed an entire bottle of soju in the 40 seconds between when police pulled him over and they walked up to his car. What? Soju, if you don't know, is like a rice, distilled rice alcohol. Oh, okay. I think it's similar to vodka. Okay. They say the guy gets pulled over, stops, downs the whole bottle as the police officer is walking up to the car. Are you trying to get rid of the evidence? Uh, is that yeah. what did it? I guess so. Police used right. something called no. the Widmark formula, which uses a person's weight, known consumption, and other factors to estimate the blood alcohol content. So they're trying to figure out, okay, what was his blood alcohol 
when we pulled him over. Ah. Sewed you aside. Oh, oh, I see. Police said that the 60-year-old man was above the legal limit even before chugging the soju. But the judge didn't buy it, saying there was insufficient concrete evidence to prove the man was drunk behind the wheel. They can't, oh. basically they couldn't prove that it wasn't mm. what he chugged. When they got pulled over. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Then mean, why would... Talk about a loophole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just chug the whole thing. Wow. Because you can't prove... Still behind were... the wheel, by the way. Yeah. Just not driving. He didn't get out. That just he didn't get out of the car at all. Chug it. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Fascinating. Do not try that at home. Please I like the dessert. That was good. That was good. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. That was the okay. leftovers. I'm going to have some more chips and salsa. Uh, we'll give you this moment to digest because I'm going to have some chips and salsa too. We'll be back.